Hello again, my name is Vicky and welcome to part two of my video on Gonal F or Phototropin Alpha injection. Um, in this part of it I'm going to show you how I'm going to administer the injection to myself and this is the pre-filled pen. Um, like the last video I did on Supercore or Bucerellin injection, um, I've done this as an aid memoir just to show you how I would administer the injection, showing you, you all the do's and don'ts. Now, um, for those of you who watched my last video on the Supercore or Bucerellin injection, um, I can assure you this is a lot easier than um, the last one I showed you. Um, if you've been doing the two weeks, two to three weeks of down regulation, you would have done uh, a number of injections of these already. And one thing that you don't have to do is fiddle around with a separate syringe and um, putting it into a valve, trying to push the air bubbles out and then uh, working out how much to use. You can do away with that and you now have one of these. Now the first thing you need to do, you need to wash your hands um, and then you need to have a set up clean clear table, have all your equipment, um, kick out the dog, cat and kids because um, uh, you're going to be handling sharps again. Uh, you're going to be putting a needle onto this so yes, that's why you need to get them all out of the way. Um, go for all the stuff on my table now. I've got, as I said, the pen. I've got a 900 unit pen. Uh, right here, I'm going to put that down. Uh, you need uh, two pre injection swabs, um, and you need to uh, one to clean your equipment, and two to clean your skin. It's just to reduce the risk of skin infection. Set that to one side. You need the pen needle, which should have come with your box of tricks here with your pen. That goes on the end of your, on your pen, that's your needle. Um, you need a cotton swab uh, for afterwards to put on your area. Don't forget your sharps box. And last but not least, I've got a little sticky tape there. I'll show you what I need that for afterwards. And not forgetting, like my last video, you always have to treat yourself. And this time my husband's very kindly given me a flake. So never, ever, ever, you know, forget to reward yourself after a job well done. Now, um, getting yourself ready, the first thing you need to do is to um, uh, clean your equipment. You're going to get your pen. Um, this is your plunger here, this red bit here. This is what, instead of what you had last time you pushed down there, this is what you have this time. Um, you also dial up the doses twiddling at the end of the pen. So pull that up. Imagine this is a pen. First thing you look at is uh, check there's clean, uh, clear fluid, which is very nice. Um, I had one tiny bubble here earlier on, that's not a problem. If you do have a large air bubble, and it is explained to you in the air in the leaflet, there is a way of pushing, drawing out, just dialing up a tiny increment and pushing it out. I'll leave that to the instruction video because I don't actually want to waste this. This is actually very expensive uh, medicine, so I'm not going to waste that here. But the principles are more or less the same for dialing up and pushing out. Um, I just get your your steric, um, your pre-injection swab. I'm going to open one of them first of all. Um, this is optional and not. Not everybody would necessarily want to do this, but I, I like to do it. I like to clean my equipment. Um, similar to cleaning your rubber bung in the Supercore vial, when you clean the rubber bung on the top, there's a little rubber bit there, and I just like to clean it. So it's really small, probably really minor thing, but I just like to do it as a matter of practice. So that's all clean there. Um, and then next thing you need to do is get your uh, needle, uh, pen needle. Now. A lot of people just yank the, the whole seal off. I don't like to do that. I just like to put it just about onto the edge so it still sticks on the end. And then with your pen and then your rubber end, you just put it in as so and turn clockwise until it stops. It will resist. You, it won't turn anymore and look, it stops. It won't move. Then you can pull it out. And you don't have to worry about jabbing yourself because there's, look, there's an inner needle. So you don't have to worry about that. Put that down. Don't throw it away. And then here you are, you've got, uh, as I said, you've got your, your needle, everything's all ready, all ready to go, and then you need to dial up. So before I do that, I'm going to clean my skin area first, because I haven't done that yet, naughty me. Um, with my second swab, I'm going to clean my area. Now, um, 
having to inject myself twice a day now, I'm doing a super core in the morning and now this in the evening, so it's um, you really do have to pick your spots very carefully. As before, you uh, uh, in my last video, you try to rotate around your injection sites. The reason being is if you inject in the same site over and over again, you increase the risk of its skin hardening and skin scarring, and it makes the injection a lot harder to do, so you want to avoid that, so I always try to rotate. And as you can see, just, you know, despite the number of injections, I'm still good. So I, today, tonight, I'm going to go for a left spot here. That's still good. And remember to um, clean yourself in a spiralling out motion, yep. Yeah? And then you have to wait that to dry before um, uh, giving yourself injection. I've tucked my top underneath my bra just so it's all nice out of the way and I don't have to worry about fiddling about it, but the pen is actually really easy, so I could easily wear a t-shirt and not worry about it too much. So next thing for me to do, you've got your pen, I'm having a look at it now, and according to this, according to the bunk, I've got 600 units left. Um, always good to check how much you've got left so you know whether it's going to run to zero or not. So the next thing I'm going to do is dial up my 300. And this goes up in increments of 12.5. And I think you're going, again it looks as if it's clockwise. I've got a long way to go. Da, 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 da. And all the way up to 300. If I went too far I went to 312.5, not a problem. I just turn anti-clockwise and it's back down to 300. No big deal. Don't push down. Not ready to push down yet. So, I'm almost ready to introduce I've still got my green inner shield on. Um, I think the last thing I need to show you is, is uh, how we normally do the whole pinching of the skin. You remember um, in the last video you pinch the skin, so you end up injecting into the fatty layer, not the muscle. Um, so when you go into 90 degrees, you can imagine that's my skin. I pinch the skin and it's like that. You're going in this angle, not this angle. If you've trying to go in for any other angle, I don't know why, you need, probably need to ask your health professional why you're going in that angle, there may be a very good reason, I have no idea, but um, you need to follow the same structure, so I'm actually going to go normal, normal angle, which most people are going to do, is, is at the 90 degree, just as so, okay, and remember when you go in, it's got to be firm, you've got to be um, quite quite quick, you know none of this hesitation, um, but hopefully if you've been down regulating and been doing a number of injections this should just come quite easy to you right now, so we're going to do this together. Remember to pinch, you need to get your little C, like this C or like that, that's your little C, two inches, do that, or like that, like that, and then you pinch and then you, you go in, so I um, as I go in like a three, two, one, may hesitate a little bit because it's a video, but please, please forgive me. So I'm going to get ready. I'm going to pull mine in um, in a cap off. So now this is ready. Don't really need to keep this now, but you know, it's up to you whether you do. I've dialed up to 300. Excuse me, and I'm ready to go in. So make my little C. I'm getting rid of my little C. And I've pinched here and. Hold it like a, like a pen, however you feel easiest. I'm going to look for my little spot that I'm going to go for. I'm going to go for this one here. And I'm going to go for 90 degrees. And I'm going to go 3, 2, 1. And in I go. And then remember to let go. Let go of your skin. Let go, let go, let go. That's a common fault. My nurse said, you pinch too hard. I said, I know, I'm doing it in front of you. I'm really nervous. And when you're ready, start pushing down. Now, in other videos I've been watching, you have women who say, oh, you count the clicks. I've got 300 units and it's going down in 12.5. I've got too many, it doesn't sound like a click, but it's far too many to count, so I'm just going to push all the way down. Mine's gone all the way down already, and when you go all the way down, you can't feel it go down anymore. You need to count to 10, so sort of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I've already held it for a long time. And when you're ready, you need to pull up and with the cotton pad I have in my hand now, um, as, as I said, said with the technique before, when you're ready to pull out, you push down gently with the cotton pad, just very gently as you pull it out. There you go. And then hold down just very firmly, just gently like as so. Um, one is to catch the blood, and two, um, the, the actual tugging out of the needle uh, sometimes can cause a little bit of pain in the skin area. Um, you may have noticed that the needle on this one is a little bit bigger than the last one, but just remember, you may look and think, oh, it's a needle, but at the end of the day, it's still a pinprick, you know, a needle prick. It's however long it is, and um, 
it's it's a lot easier to hold uh, I assure you and, and, and get it over and done with you just have to remember I think the trick is to actually remember holding it down for 10 seconds before you have to pull out if you pull out before then again not the end of the world it's just um, it's just to make sure that all the drug goes in so I'm holding it in down there I'm just gonna have a little check tiny bit of seepage I'm just gonna hold it down there for a little bit longer um, next thing to do when you're ready um, is to get your needle onto your um, needle needle cap, get that ready to unscrew off. So I'm going to put mine on. Shouldn't really be doing this single-handedly, but I'm so used to this now. I've popped that back on. So I'm holding it down. What you need to do is unscrew this off. So I think it's obviously anti-clockwise now. You unscrew it. As you can see that's come off very easily. And there's a little bit of a pin. Uh, sort of a needle at the end where it's had to pierce the vial and um, normally at this point you just chuck it away but what I do is I cover mine up and with that little bit of tape I told you earlier on I'm just going to cover that needle so it doesn't pop out and then it goes down into the needle waste bin final thing I need to tell you now ah now that's rather interesting now mine has gone down to no, it has gone down to zero, sorry, I apologise. If it didn't go all the way down to zero um, and it had something like 12.5 or 25 or something like that and your um, your your medicine has completely run out, um, that's the dose that you need to give. That's what you're uh, on your next uh, syringe. So it means that you didn't get all the dose and if it says 25, you need to dial up 25 units on your new pen and then uh, give the rest of your medicine. Now, uh, once you're finished, I'm just going to check again. No, nope, stop now. It's lovely. Thank you very much. Um, as before, if you found that if you've been, um, you've got any bruising, it's a no-go area. If you find that you're bleeding lots of times and you're bleeding lots and lots, again, you may need to have your uh, your, your your technique uh, checked out by your healthcare professional in the clinic, or uh, if you get on well with your practice nurse and the GP, just have it checked out by her if you get on well, and she can point you out where you're going wrong. So all I need to do now is to put this uh, pended back on, put it back in the box clear everything away and um, I suppose this is the last time I'm going to be doing this particular type of medicine. The next video uh, will probably be my Ovitrol injection if I make it to the next stage. Um, I hope this has been useful and thank you for watching.